The Vikings were legendary warriors who had fast and light ships that could be brought to land. Thus, there was no need for a harbor. As a result, the Viking attacks were abrupt, surprising, and almost hard to fight against. The tenacious Norsemen made their impact on history for more than two centuries, beginning with their invasion of the British Abbey at Lindisfarne in 793 AD. However, the Vikings' way of life was far more complex than just warfare and loot. Many people in the ancient Viking land on Norway's west coast are still adhering to the ideals of their ancestors, but in a modern way. And that's what we'll be sharing with you today, so please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. In recent years, many Norwegians have been attempting to recover important aspects of their Viking ancestry that have been lost through time. Hundreds of people visit Viking marketplaces at Gudvigen or Avaldsnes, the ancient residence of King Harald Fairhair, to recreate Viking life and learn about their old trades and crafts. The modern Vikings of Gudvangen are ruled by George Ulfur Raderson Hansen in Njarnheimer, which is a permanent Viking settlement ultimately completed in 2017 by him after almost 20 years of work. Eroy Fjord's innermost parts are home to this settlement, which is meticulously designed to look like a Viking settlement. It's genuine in design and construction, done the old-fashioned way. Several hundred liters of tar, linseed oil, and ox blood have been used in the construction of 18 houses. Hansen, the town king, explains that the chieftain's hall is painted green since it was the most expensive color then. He estimates that there are 40 Viking reenactment groups in Norway, with a total of 2,000 to 4,000 active participants, and surprisingly, there are 10 times as many worldwide. King Hansen said, We have 400 Vikings in Gudvangen. At the market, we have kids learning old trades and crafts. A 15-year-old boy becomes a blacksmith, and a 15-year-old girl is learning textiles. When the older generation sees this, they think it's great, and they join in, and he said this while combing his beard with a Viking comb. He also has an authentic Viking sword, a cape, and clothes. About his sword, he says it's made from thousands of pieces of steel bent over and over again until it got extremely strong and extremely sharp. Only roughly 50 of the 3,500 Viking swords unearthed in Norway had one-edge blades like his. So King Hansen is doing his best to make his Vikings concept more appealing to other people, and he has definitely done a great job. If you want to see the modern Vikings yourself, just visit Jarderheimer Village in Norway. We will end our video here. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts, please let us know in the comments section. Like and subscribe to the Vikings Code channel, because we will continue providing you the authentic information regarding Vikings. Don't forget to hit the bell icon as well, and we'll see you in the next one.